Hey friends, thanks for joining me for another video. We got a Timu haul to get into, so we're gonna roll right on. I just wanna let you know, um, I am not happy with this uh, Timu foundation I'm trying out today. Um, yeah, it doesn't have very good coverage and I I'm just not happy with the way it looks, so I'm probably not gonna be all up in your face. I'm gonna try not to be. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get on with it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start off with um, um, a makeup-ish dupe. Let me get my pictures ready. Okay, right here, we have the Yusha's Ushas Make It First Moisturizing Correct Primer Spray. Y'all, I love anything that sprays. I'm obsessed with um, setting sprays, primer sprays, anything that sprays. It's just fun. It just makes it fun to apply. But anyway, it's an obvious dupe for the NYX Marshmallow Primer Spray. Clearly a dupe. So that one's cool. I can't wait to try this out and this will be in a speed review. So I'm not gonna go spraying it all over cause I don't know what it smells like and I don't wanna get it all over creation, but yeah, we'll be reviewing that. Okay guys, Um, next I'm gonna do a few pairs of nails. Okay. Guys, first of all, now that I'm seeing these nails, I'm kind of regretting my decision to get out of the press-on business and try to work on my own nails again because some of these are so cute, but look how precious they are. These would go with the shirt I'm wearing today. By the way, I'm wearing gold. Can you believe it? I'm wearing gold. I don't have many gold-ish rings or mixed metal rings, but um, I'm, just, I'm doing the best I can to start trying to throw some gold into the mix. But anyway, yeah, these are darling. They'll, they look like they're small too, and they would fit my nail beds well, but we're just, um, we're just gonna put them in a giveaway or some friend mail. Okay, next off is this pair, and it looks like these actually have little, a couple of them have some little gems in them, or they've got some gold sparkly paint that make them look like little gems. These are really cute, really cute. I like these. Okay. Uh, all right, we're gonna do a non-makeup thing real fast. I know you guys want me to like group things together, but I don't wanna bore people to death who aren't here for makeup. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to mix it up a little bit, guys. Okay, oh, I can already tell I'm not loving this, but this is a, um, a shirt I got. I like the little pocket detail. It's very long. It's got the curved bottom. Um, yeah, this is nice and long. I think the measurements were like 28, 29 inches. So this was going to well cover your booty and anything else, part of your thighs, anything you don't want to show off. And um, yeah, I love the colors, but guys, this is that fabric we're not real keen on, sort of. It's sort of that slinky feeling, but again, like I've said a million times already, like a, the broken record that I am, I wear a tank top underneath um, everything, so I won't really feel it, but yeah, it, it's cute. It has sort of a tie-dyed look, which, you, you know, that's my thing. Oh, and I just noticed the pocket is kind of torn. That's a cool detail. I didn't see that before. Okay. I did not notice that in the picture. That's a really cool little detail there. Okay, we're gonna put you over here. Okay. Y'all, this is kind of an oddball thing and they sent me two sets. Okay, my friend. My friend is having trouble getting her Timu order because she's getting packages that are torn up. Nikki. And uh, Nikki, yes, I'm talking about you. She she shared a short this morning showing a severely torn up and poorly taped together Timu package that was missing some stuff. And um, But I'm always getting too much stuff. I'm always getting stuff I didn't order. And I re-looked at my order. I did not order two sets of these. So, but anyway. These are face stamps. Let me just kind of turn it to get it. Yeah, these are face stamps. I've been I've been wanting to order these for the longest time. This one is shaped like a heart. Let's try it. And yes, it's a little heart. These would be darling beside your eyes. It's not a deep, deep, deep black, or it may just need to be shaken up some to make it a richer, darker black. But that is very cute. 
if you're going out to a club or a bar on a Saturday night, Friday night, going to a festival, a concert, and just want to be extra cute. Okay, and I think, which one is this? Is this one, that's another heart. That one will go on a giveaway. Let me see, did they even send me a star one? Yes. And I also ordered a star one. My gal Twisted Gypsy is always using space stamps and she is always so darling. All right, oh, okay, I see now. One end of them is an actual liquid, very, very fine tip liquid liner. Oh, I think I like this. I think I like the liner end, particularly. Okay, um, let me get the other side off. Okay, yeah, this is a little star. Let me shake it up and see how good we can get the black. Well, that was kind of messy. Yeah, you kind of have to just bounce it up and down. See how I smeared the other one? But yeah, little stars, little hearts right beside your eyes, right under them to look like teardrops. Oh my gosh, there is so much fun stuff you could do with these stamping pens. So yeah, somebody... One of eight will be going in a giveaway. Somebody will get a star. Somebody will get a heart. Okay, so these are cute. Let me throw these over here. That is really adorable. Okay, back into makeup dupes for a second. Okay, and these have been packaged. By the way, these come in a set of three. These are a dupe of the Rare Beauty blushes and there's there's two blush shades and there's a contour but i think what it actually is let me get my little cutter here i think what it actually is guys is a highlighter a contour and a blush but we're going to open them up put them on my hand and see and i don't care if i tear up these boxes because i'm keeping them but um just let me show you real quick before i get into the swatches that they are indeed a rare beauty dupe i mean dead on yeah, that's some of the best package duping I've seen them do. Ooh, that's it. Oh, and the, the y'all, the little um, applicator tip is exactly the same as the soft pinch blushes too. Wow, they really got this one right. Okay, so that's a um, corally pink. There's that one. Cut to the side. Let me chop into the, these other two. Let's just cut right into them and take care of business here. Okay, yeah, this is our highlighter. Oh, and that looks like it's going to have some sparkle. Oh, yes, God, that would be an amazing eyeshadow. Look at that. Look at the sparkle coming off that highlighter. Holy moly, that would make a gorgeous eyeshadow. I wonder if it dries down. Guys, I'm gonna smear these around just a smidge. And once I have a makeup wipe, I brought one with me. I have it over here. So I don't get makeup all over creation. But yeah, I'm gonna leave these on here for the next few minutes and see if they dry down. All right, let's whack this last one open. I'm gonna throw these boxes away. I don't need those for sure. They're just getting in my way. Okay, let's whack into these this one okay let's see if this is yeah and this is a contour i figured that's what they were doing they were calling it two blushes and i and a contour but i knew it was um one of each oh i like that that's a cool tone brown and not too deep <gasps> wow oh wow y'all that is going to make a beautiful contour that, I need to do my nose with this. My nose desperately needs some contour. And y'all, when I look at myself, all I see is this big honking nose in the middle of my face. And my stepsister got a nose job when she was a teenager and I needed one myself. And tch, I think my nose was worse than hers. But no, they were like, oh, you've got a cute little, um, uh, I don't know what they called it. There's nothing cute about this big honking nose. But anyway, yes, that is an absolutely gorgeous, cool shade of contour. It would do like under here. You want to put drops here, you know, here, um, down the sides of your nose and across the top. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna wait it out and see if these guys dry, but I can't get over how pretty that contour is. That may be my new favorite contour. It may take the place of my milk contour, which I'm almost out of, so I am relieved that I have another beautiful cool tone contour um, when it's completely gone. Okay, guys, on to the next thing. I just can't get over, I can't stop looking at how pretty those are. Okay. These nails, guys, I mean, they're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I might have to keep these. Just for, These are just totally me. They've got the little mandala flower on them. They are beautiful. I've never received nails in this format. Tell me in the comments if you've ever received nails packaged like this. That's very unusual. I've never seen it. But anyway, they give you plenty so you can fit your nail beds. And uh, I just absolutely love the color and the detail on these. Holy moly, they're beautiful. See, this, this, um, there is so little coverage to this foundation I'm trying that you can still see that place on my nose that's still healing up from the cat. And my other foundation, I think, was covering it better. Anyway, I'm gonna get off of that topic. Y'all didn't choose my foundation. It's not your problem, and you're not here to listen to me complain about it, are you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm crazy about these nails. I'm gonna keep these in, in just in case I decide to go back to them, which I'm sure I will. I just my nails are just so pitiful right now. I just wanna try to get them in a little bit better shape. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, okay. I think this is the thing I was really excited for. Super de duper excited for. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I can't stand it. <gasps> it's so pretty. I can't stand it. Let me get the picture up. Y'all. Okay, y'all. This is a dupe for the Dior Backstage Blush and Highlight Palette. Is that gorgeous? You even get a little bronzer in here. Uh, where is my finger pointing? Right here. Yes, but that's the wrong color. But the color we actually have here is this one. These are the actual colors, I think, that are more in it. But since they can't put the little Ds, the little D embossing, obviously, they put the little F. But that is a very nice dupe of Dior. Very nice. I'm tickled pink with that. Tickled pink. I cannot wait to wear this. Ooh, I almost want to wash my makeup off, y'all, and do it again with all these new products. <laughs> I do. I just want to do it again. Oh, I just can't believe how pretty this stuff is. Timu, you've got me. Okay, we're almost to the end of this one, guys, and I thought this was gonna be a long haul, but I think we're gonna get this one in about 20, 25 minutes. Guys, this is just um a little cool leaning, pinky leaning. Sorry, guys, my nose is itching like mad. My allergies are on fire today. Let me just try to tap it and try to keep it from itching and running. Okay, but uh, anyhow, yeah, this is just a little cool tone, pink leaning, completely matte, little neutral palette I bought to put in my giveaway drawer. Or heck, those are so pretty, I might even keep them. But I have these shades a million times over. Guys, I need to do a huge makeup declutter. I wonder if any, any of my friends would like to receive some of my sanitized uh, makeup that I want to declutter gently used and sanitized makeup in some friend mail. Let me know. Let me know if anybody would actually be interested in that. Some people are completely creeped out by the idea of used makeup, and I can completely understand that, particularly a lip product. Ooh, no. That's something you never want to use after somebody else. And I, I, you know, mascara, things that really can touch the inner part of the eye, you want to stay away from passing on things like that. But, um, Powder products, they're fine to pat sanitize with a, just some alcohol spray and pass on to a friend. Oh, okay, we have one more makeup item in here and I forgot to take a picture of this, I think. But I think everybody by now has seen this. Anybody who ever goes in Target and looks at makeup at all has seen this. Let me just slice it open. 
Um, this is, oh, it's tiny too. It's much smaller than the actual product. But this is a dupe of the little Pixie by Petra. Target carries this brand, and I think you can get it on Amazon and some other places, but Target's the main place where you find Pixie. Um, they've carried it for years. But anyway, these are nice products too. And for drugstore, Pixie kind of leans on the higher end of drugstore. You know what I mean? It's yeah, it's a little bit pricier than some other things, and like CoverGirl, Maybelline, you know, things like that. But let's get this joker open and take a peek at it. Mm, I think it is a, a blush. Oh, it looks like it's a pretty color. Maybe this one won't be too... It looks like a pretty pinky mauvey color. Maybe this won't be too orangey. Uh, that's the problem I have most of the, and of course you obviously use this little um, dial to bring it up. Well, is it gonna come up or am I twisting it the wrong way? Well, Karen, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Oh, here it comes. Oh, and thank God it goes back down once you twist it up. Okay, yeah, here we go. See, it's looking, I'm not sure. My eyes make, uh, not my eyes, my lights and camera make everything look orange, but yes. This is orangey, even though the packaging is very mauve. Look, even compared to that rare beauty over here, this looks more like, um, this definitely leans more pink than this. This pixie one is a full-on coral. This is a pinky coral. This is a flat-out orangey coral. Not my favorite, but, um, I'll work it into a look sometime so I can review it for you guys. I just may, mainly want to test um, the staying power of it, how well, you know, if it dries down well, if it, you know, it stays intact throughout the day, all that. So, yeah, that will be in the speed reviews. Okay, and th this next thing is what I've had all this stuff sitting in for the last couple of days waiting to film. Guys, this is a cool boho. This is boho all day long, but guys, it's bent. It is bent all the heck, and it's lopsided. Look at it. Ugh, I'm going to have to contact Timu about this, but I'm thinking about trying to work with it and see if I can still use it because it's still a pretty little crochet basket, and um, it's the perfect size. For once, I measured something, guys. For once, I, I put one of my mini tape measures to work. This will be the perfect size to go on the, my, the back of my toilet, you know, the tank, and um, put some of my most, maybe some toilet paper, my most used hair products that I'm always having to dig around in my thing in the bathroom. I have this thing that's low in the bottom of my little cupboard that I keep all my hair products, and it's just a pain to dig around in it looking for things. So I think I'm gonna keep my most used things in here so they're easy access, but yeah. I'm very disappointed, very disappointed, and how, um, because this was kind of pricey. I can't remember exactly now how much it was, and I would have to use the phone I'm filming on to find out, because I order under two different Timu accounts, y'all. I order, I have a Timu account on this phone, and I have a Timu account on the phone I'm filming on. But anyway, yeah, this is just, it's still pretty. I still like it, and from the, like, looking at it, like walking in my bathroom and just seeing it from the front, I'm not sure if it, the crookedness would be that noticeable. But yeah, it's very boho and cute. And it's not gonna hold a lot of weight because it, this is just fabric, a, a fabric bottom. See how I'm pushing it? Yeah, this is not gonna carry or hold much weight, but um, yeah, it's cute. The inside looks like a muslin or canvasy material. Yeah, pretty. I'm gonna start piling some of this stuff back in it too, just like I had it before. It was an easy way to keep track of everything. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let me just get some of this stuff in here and out of the way and not get my trash confused and throw away actual product like I've been doing. Okay, the last thing here, guys, is another one of these. Um. And y'all, they had put this basket in a bag. I have never yet received a box from Timu, guys. 
like a box of stuff like some of you get. I think it's only the people that get sponsored hauls that get a nice box with their things in it instead of crammed into a bag and bent all the heck. Um, but anyway, yeah, I would love to receive my goodies in a box sometimes, especially things like that, so they would be better protected. But yes, this is a meditation pad. And I already have one. Let me grab it. Where is it? I already have one, and I wanted to compare them anyway. Yeah, they're the same size. They're both very boho prints. And, guys, I have another one on the way. And I, yeah, I have another one on the way. And there's a rhyme, rhyme to this insanity or some reason, a reason to this, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, anyway, a rhyme to this reason or something. I Once I get my third one, I am going to pile these up the three of them, and I am going to film somewhere else in the house. I just really want to give y'all a change of scenery. I'm sure you're tired of looking at this same background all the time, and um, I'm thinking about changing up my background, but I also just want to film somewhere else. So once I get my third one, um, I'm going to pile them all up, and then I'm going to sit. I might sit in my room. I might sit in front of my pie safe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I'm just going to use them to film someplace else. And, heck, it wouldn't hurt me to do some meditation. So, I might actually use them for their intended use. But, um, yeah. And these are really nice, guys. These feel like linen. I, I mean, they're all polyester, I'm sure, just like everything from Timu. But they have a linen feel. They're really nice, and they're really good size. And you know what? If you, like, are going on a... Oh, I thought that had a hole in it. It doesn't. It's just a loose thread. Um, guys, if you're going on like a long road trip and you want some cushion under the booty for all those hours in the car, like I usually do, um, when I'm making the trip to Alabama to see um, my family down there, yeah, I have to have something under me in the car for all that time because that's an eight to nine hour trip depending on how many times you stop. But yeah, these would be great to sit in your car seat too just to give you some extra cushion for a long trip or something. So yeah, I really like these. And uh, as soon as the other one comes in, I'm gonna surprise you and be in a different location with a different background. And, and meanwhile, I'm still trying to, to decide what I wanna do back here. I definitely want to do something but I'm just not sure what. Okay, enough rambling, guys. That's all I have for you today. I really thank you so much for joining me, as always. And um, I, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you're not getting rained on like we are. Again, I had plans this weekend, and they were shot because it's going to pour. Whew. Mother Nature doesn't want me to go on vacation this year. <laughs> apparently. All right, y'all. I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and week. Bye-bye.